This is the access database we are going to work with. There is one table in it, but it doesn't really matter, so we are going to create tables from something made in Excel. This is the file in Excel that we are going to import into Access, but completely from scratch. So here we are. We have uh, a lot of information in here that you probably wonder about. First of all, I want you to know if you want to know more about VBA, which we are going to use here in Access, I would recommend this CD-ROM. It has helped so many people to get used to VBA in Access. Then I created a macro called Auto Executable. And that one says message box to create a new access table from an excel spreadsheet use control t as a shortcut so how do we implement that shortcut in in a macro called auto keys you have to call them both with these names this one will always run when you open the database that one will run when you do the shortcut key so we are going to see what is in there we created a sub macro how do you do that you go to the design screen and make sure that you have your action catalog open and add a sub macro the sub macro has a name that is the shortcut control which is the carrot up and the t and then it runs a code that's the action we implemented and the function name is run sub that is a subroutine or a function actually that we are going to implement very soon because it has to be a function you have to open and close parentheses so that does the action when you do control t when you do control t it runs a function in a module this is the module in that database i am using the function run sub so it is run from a macro auto keys with control t and it does this sub import a table but this one has to be a function this is a regular sub we declare a bunch of variables the most important one is the dao fields you have to make sure that tools references has activated the Microsoft Active Object database. Data Active Object. That is the DAO.DLL if you have to browse for it. Or ACE DAO.DLL. I did that already, so that is all done. I included an error trap if something goes wrong. Then we are going to activate Excel. We are going to talk to Excel. Make sure that Tools References has Excel activated, the Excel object library. Uh, you have a choice. You can either let the user open a file name with either this extension or with that extension or both of them. Or you can have a fixed one. In my case, I'm going to use a fixed one. In the current projects path in that subfolder, find backslash the supplier sheet dot xlsx. It has that name, so I can use it. If for whatever reason that file has been moved or deleted, then exit the sub. We open the workbook from the collection of workbook that has the name as file. Then I'm going to ask the user, you don't have to, of course, do you want sheet one? Is your table on sheet one? Or two or whatever then make a reference to that sheet and find out from that OWS that sheet starting in the first cell what the current region is that is the entire section up to the first empty column and the first empty row then it's going to ask me how do you want to name your table in access through an input box then we set OTD, which is of the table definition type, to a new table. We create a table definition based on S file. We create a field, an ID field, which is of the long type, 
that can be an automatic number. In my case, I'm going to make it an auto number that can go into 1.2 billion. O field, I'm going to make it an automatic increase field, it creates an automatic number field. Then I append that field to the collection of fields of the new table definition. We go with a loop through all the columns in Excel. Excel starts numbering at one up to the last one. If the second cell down, the first one is probably a label, if that is a date, then I'm going to make sure that I append to the table definition a new field based on cells 1 comma j column 1 2 3 4 of the db date type if it's if there is a dollar sign somewhere in that number format we can find that out with in string if it doesn't find a dollar sign then it returns a zero otherwise it returns the position of that spot then we create a new field with the of the currency type. If it's numeric, make sure that you do that after you do this one, otherwise it will kick you out already on this one for every number issue. Create that as a double type, and all the rest we create as a text type. Then we are going to append the table definition to the collection of table definitions in the current database. We store all records in this new table. So we open that new record set as file. We make it an open dynaset type. We loop first through all the records, starting at row 2, not the header or the label. And we loop through all the fields of the record set, but be aware that those record sets have an auto number, which is the zeroest field. So we run for all the records and starting at row 2 up to the last row in the current region, we add a new record to the record set. You don't have to worry about field of the index number 0 that gets automatically numbered. But all the other ones have to be filled. So we go through all the columns in Excel. And every field should be whatever is in cells i, j. Don't forget to update ORS, otherwise it will not add that field. Next i. And it creates a new record, a new record, a new record. Then we open the new table to notice that the records have been added. That is a very simple do command open table with the S file type. Then we quit Excel. Don't forget that, otherwise that, that keeps hovering in the background or you can't see it. It's still there. So we close the workbook. We quit Excel. And we exit the sub. If there was a trouble somewhere here on error, go to the error trap we said at the beginning, then give a message box what the error was, and don't forget to close the workbook and to quit Excel, even if there was an error. So all of this should work fine now. Let's try it. Control T was the shortcut. So now it's opening Excel, that sheet, it asks which sheet, yeah, number one. Give it a name, I'm, I'm calling it AA, doesn't matter. And then it opens, that new, this was completely created from scratch. Notice that this is an auto number field, and those are the three text fields, four text fields. That is a date type, that is the monthly retail income. And if you go to the design screen, you will see that they were really made of the auto number type, of the date time type, of the currency type. So I'm closing. Why don't you see that table? Because you have to refresh this screen. There is much more to report. 
in access. And there are many other issues that you may not be familiar with. Access is not an easy program. So I developed a CD-ROM that discusses all these issues and it has helped thousands of people to get more familiar with access. Here is the section on reporting tools, um, but there is much more in access that you need to know in order to let your databases work well. You can find this CD-ROM at genesispc.com.